The task at hand seems simple enough. Get to know Jesus. It's a follow-up question that's a bit more difficult. How do we get to know him? On the surface, getting to know Jesus should be as simple as making friends in kindergarten. That is the beginning of the book, followed by uh, Katie Prejean McGrady. And I think one of the things that we can talk about this week as we uh, begin our Lenten series, the Lenten journey is how do we get to know Jesus? Using the book Lenten Blessings Await by uh, Father Joseph Sika, we remind ourselves that the getting to know Jesus enters into our getting to know other people, our relationships with one another. Uh, on Friday the 28th, he gives us the ESP, encourage, support, and praise one another in our lives. And on Sunday, he talks about someone knocking at the door, turning to Jesus and turning to God in the times of trouble, in the times of joy, in the times of life. But to do that, of course, we have to get to know Jesus, get to know who he is, how he loves us, and how he desires us to follow him. And so let's look at those three things really quickly. Encourage, support, and praise. Too often, uh, we do not hear words of encouragement. Rather, we hear words of, of, of hurt, of anger, of frustration. So maybe this weekend, we can take time to encourage our family members to grow in faith, hope, and love. To take time in prayer to encourage the church to grow in faith, hope, and love. The second one is, of course, support. How do we support one another in our growth of faith? Uh, I've said it many times, and I'll say it again. The greatest Lenten thing you could do is to invite someone to come to Mass with you and then sit with them and then go out to breakfast with them afterwards, sharing and supporting them in that beginning of the journey. We see it so many, so often in the RCIA, the Right of Christian Initiation of Adults, right, where we walk with people, with our brothers and sisters who are discovering who Jesus is, growing in that intimate relationship with Jesus is in a profound and important way. And of course, to praise, right? to, to thank God, to share with God the, the, the blessings of life. I almost said the word there. Right? The blessings of life, the joy of life, to cry out to God, glory to God in the highest, to know that God is with us. But that means that, as we hear on Sunday, March 1st, we must turn to God, that Jesus is knocking. And if we turn to him in love and blessing and hope, pouring our hearts into his life, then we do we can truly discover the presence of God. God bless you all. And we will see you in the Eucharist. Have a wonderful first week of Lent.